Hi, I'm Jay Benham, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. And this video is part of your My Museum Classroom Kit. In this segment, we'll be looking at What Will You Give Me If I Let You Down by Kristen Kleffel. As we look together, it will be helpful for you to have a paper and something to write with if you feel a need to take notes and or to sketch. Please pause the video to get those things now if you need to. Feel free to pause or rewind the video anytime you need to. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let's take a few moments to let your eyes wander all over it to gather useful details. Artist Kristen Cleffel who works in her studio in Cleveland, Ohio, creates these little whimsical sculptures that seem to be. At first glance, the artwork sort of resembles a knickknack that many families would have on their shelf. But with closer examination, we can see that even though it's cute and fun, it can also be perceived as being tongue in cheek. And what do we mean by the phrase tongue in cheek? Well, it means sarcastic humor, like how many little birds have you seen that weigh more than a donkey? This is what the artist has said about this artwork, and I quote, she says, When I was a kid, we used to play on seesaws at the park all the time. If you're the light one on top, you're at the mercy of the heavier player. We used to have a game that was probably very commonplace in parks across the country the heavier player would chant, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, what will you give me if I let you down? The artist feels that games we play in playgrounds really do prepare us for some adult situation. Life is a series of compromises, in other words, give and take. Look again at the art. The bird and donkey represents our relationships with family friends, and communities. While the home is the heart and foundation of this piece, maybe the home represents us. Clifford is indicating that there will always be ups and downs in our relationships and in life. But if we express love, understanding, and compassion to others, as well as to ourselves, things seem to work out. With this idea, the artist also gives us the notion that everyone is valid and important, no matter who you are, and their absence only causes a void within their community and our family. She realized in her own personal life, her importance and her value, while pursuing balance between the need for personal freedom and her responsibilities for others, she now says, I cherish responsibility. And she also says, the need to do the right thing. So she has a need to do the right thing. She cherishes responsibility. So let's continue by examining the smoke coming out of the house. It suggests that in some Native American tribes, the smoke represents a cleansing element, a traditional peace pipe ceremony, are the promises to others and oaths that we keep. And it can represent communication. On closer inspection, we see that the smoke is coming out of a chimney, which means that the home has a fireplace. Some say that the fireplace or hearth is the heart of the home. And for the artist, the smoke represents her balance, which is her love and compassion for others as well as for herself. Remember that love and compassion must start with one's heart or hearth before it can be given to others, because otherwise it's an unknown. So let's take a moment and think of the ways you are important to your family, your community, and school, and any additional groups you may belong to as well as their importance to you. How do we develop love and compassion for family, friends, and for the people around us? In closing, the artist says that once she realized the importance of her role she plays, she feels loved. She loves what she is doing. She says, I have an amazing life. Wherever I am, 
I'm at home. So look for that safe place, that home feeling of a firm foundation, no matter your situation. Be there in the moment of being joyous about life, even in the darkest of times. Cliffle conveys the idea that love and compassion must start with self before it can be truly given to others. So be kind to yourself and your cup will run up. Okay, now let's bring back our community artist, Tran Colwyn. And we just viewed a, a really interesting piece of work by Kristen Cliffle. And that was the teeter-totter with the, was it a bird and a, what's the other object, the donkey? And yeah. it's balancing on a house. So whimsical. I just really love it. Um, it's really fun to look at. Um, Tram, what, what is your opinion of um, Kristen's work? So whenever I first thought of it, uh, when I first saw the piece, I thought of how interesting it was and how cute, the cuteness of it is what drew yeah. me into it. Um, and so um, as I started looking at it more, it made me question of like, why uh, Why did you pick certain objects? Uh, what is it, what is her meaning behind uh, picking the, this um, this piece and, and what it might symbolize for her in her life? So it's, I'm really excited to kind of dive into that and see um, not only the fun side of what she has created, but um, also the deeper meaning uh, to the piece. Yeah, it's like something you walk into grandmother's house and you might see it on the knickknack shelf, but her work, Kristen's work, is a little bit deeper than that, as you're talking about. So these objects represent different things. For instance, we talked about this during the lecture is that the house uh, is everything's balanced on the house, the home. The smoke is actually supporting the teeter totter. And um, Kristen really talks about the sim symbolism of the home and how important that is to her. Uh, and she's the bird, isn't she? Uh, yeah. She's the bird. And uh, but l let's let's talk about the symbolism there. So she created these little whimsical objects, but they become very symbolic of things in her life. Mm -hmm. um, and in the project you have planned for us, what can you talk about that and how we can uh, actually? In, maybe identify some of our own symbols in our life. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the next project that we're going to be creating. It's going to be an art mobile. And so um, my hope behind that as the students are creating it um, is to really reflect on the things that really matter to them. So whether it is their friends or their home or even a sport, um, things that really mean something to them because the things that mean something to you is what helps create your identity and your place in the world. Um, so I believe that whenever um, you identify those things that are important to you, um, it makes you who you are. Um, so I'm really excited about the, the next um, activity because I hope that um, it will help the students process through um, who they are as a person and their place in the world. Yeah, so who they are as a person, they need to be thinking about, uh, are they in sports? Are they into music? Uh, are, are they into to whatever they're into that bring them joy, brings that interest in there, just like uh, Kristen was talking about, that joy of home, that, that joy of, of just peace or maybe activities. And so I, I think you're, you've really identified a really interesting um, project, uh, the Mobile being the balance like like Kristen was talking about at the home and then the mobile with the, the objects identified that bring joy and make and identify who we are yeah. yeah i i believe that um hopefully like i truly believe that the things that bring you joy is the things that really empowers you to give to others and to really make a stance of who you are in the world um and so i think that um, I, every individual 
have to always go through in their life a time of really wondering who am I, what can I give, what are the things that I love, and um, what are my responsibilities, and uh, what does that mean to me as a person? And so I really hope that through this activity, um, they can really um, figure themselves out, not completely to the end, because I feel like mm. even at my age, I'm still figuring out who I am. But um, mm. it is the things that keep us grounded. So whether it's our families or the the, the sports that we enjoy, it is who we uh, are in ourselves. And um, because of those things that bring us joy, I think it will help us connect with one another and, um, and to help us uh, give back. Well, your enthusiasm comes through with this project, and I'm so excited to get started on it, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So let's go ahead and get, let's get started on this project. Thank you for watching. Now, please feel free to go to the art making video that is related to Krista and Cliffel. Remember to keep in mind what you have learned here as you have fun making some interesting and wonderful art.